You're here! Finally! Uh, is something wrong? Monsieur Dervalette and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute! Please go see for yourself! Like I said, I've already explained everything! And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you, but please, tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fosalor, are you not? Look at this! This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson incident. <laughs> We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster, and I will not have it happen again. <sighs> I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. Do you know anything about those? Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. But... You found them in some ancient ruins, you say? That's correct, which is why I came to ask you some questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. The other three featured different images that seemed to correlate to the prophecy. <laughs> the prophecy? The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky, as if confessing something. Do you know nothing of this either? I don't. I've never seen such slates. I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? I understand your concerns, but... I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. <sighs> Forgive me for saying this now, Lady Farina, but I have long known of your various secret investigations into certain matters. There are several indications that you have been investigating the prophecy on the sly. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets, as well as do nothing following your inquiries. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be, nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior is very inconsistent. <laughs> oh, so you've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. You. Well, since you know about my secret investigations, then you should know I'm actually working to take care of it. There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not, it'll all turn out fine. That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. Oh, <laughs> the opera is about to start. Toodles! <sighs> Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? Wonder what's up with her. She was smiling. Huh. <sighs> She didn't seem in the mood to care if we were listening in or not. I assume you've been outside for a while now? Oh! You noticed! Seems Farina didn't even realize we were here. She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Our discussion reached impasses time and again, a state of affairs that we cannot allow to continue. Still, I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding, so why did she keep refusing to engage?
Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. The issue is her attitude. I fear that she will not reveal anything unless absolutely forced to. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. Oh? Like what? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon experience just such a scenario. But Farina's seen so many trials, and she's really good at dodging questions. How do we make sure that she won't just slip away at the first chance she gets? We will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. <sighs> If at all possible, I would prefer to recuse myself from this affair, but we must prevent the prophecy from coming to pass. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. The information a god possesses is too precious, and so we must take a chance on this. Hmm, but who will lend us their aid to do such a thing? <laughs> 